It's absolutely phenomenal. Morgan, how are you? I'm doing well. You, I'm, I'm in my happy place right here. I know you are, and that's <laughs> what I love about you. You're, so, friends, here, here's I want to show you something, friends. This is Bear Claw. Okay, Bear Claw's not a welder, and he'll tell you straight to your face he's no welder. But he's a he's an engine man. This is 1,000% a Bear Claw design. We need to give the old logger the kudos where it deserves. So whoever's making these pipes, understand that this came from a, he's not just a faller and a, and, a, and a woodsman and a logger, he's a freaking engine man. He loves engines, always has. So this works, we know it, but there's- We don't there, know why it works, but it works. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's the claw. Okay, the claw's workmanship. We all know it's rough. And he'll tell you this. And then you got the metal bender, the, the metal art guy. This guy, metal art. This character. <laughs> so you see the difference. I really like Morgan's work. I mean, he's building this for his 66. I brought him over some flanges. Where are those flanges, Mark? Dumpster, shout out to Dumpsters and Dumpsters brother-in-law, I believe. Made us, this is the hardest part of making a muffler by far is the flange, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's time consuming. It's time consuming, not hard, but time yeah. consuming. But those are dandies. Those came from dumpster. But look at that, friends. This is going to be a problem. I'm excited about that one. But the project at hand is this right here. And we're thinking about going live. 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 Yeah, let's go live. Let's live live. Why, why don't I go live? You should go live too. Two lives going on. <laughs> Just a live. It's Christmas. That would be a Christmas gift for everybody. Live. Yeah, Cra crazy liveness. I'm down here in Sylvia, friends. Uh, so, Morgan, this was your first pipe, Morgan. This was my first pipe. This was Morgan's first pipe. It, it was adequate as far as performance. It was adequate. I don't think it... I don't think it hurt the... But it may have, actually. It may have hurt the thing. The saw. But, but not really. But I have a plan for it, and we're going to do it right now. He's got his magic marker out. So I think we need to cut this right off here where this weld is. I think you're right, Morgan. Take it right we'll just, back. We'll just take, uh, yeah, because that's just going to be messy. That's it. And then, uh, and then we've already got our can at the bottom. We'll cut this off here. Yep. Just come right around like that. Yep. Cut it across here. Right, right, we'll go right through that weld. How come? Well, because then it's... Well, we'll, it we'll, end up, we'll end up re-welding it anyway. Right. You just couldn't to, just, just you just couldn't to, just cut above? Just to clean it up. You know? I see. You know what I mean? Oh, here the he art, goes. The, arty, the artsy side. Yeah, the artsy side. Because I thought that would be for... Leave a piece there for stability. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it, I'll just re-weld that. Okay. From the other to side. what? Because there's going to be the floor of this. There's going to be... The, this floor here. Yes. That's still going to be there. Yes. Because that's it true. Be just too You're much, right. It is. Yeah. Too much to take that out of there. Okay. And then we'll come. Yep. Come up. We'll, so we'll the exhaust this. will. Yep. And then I go, love it. So like that. Yep. Yep. Here so, comes the artsy fartsy so we'll guy. Leave, we'll leave. We'll leave the back of this on. Can I watch you cut this? Yeah, you can. Can so. So what do you think of that? Yeah. Just, and it's a tube. So, so you're, you're gonna, this will be it like, a, the, so basically we'll take this confirmation and move it back. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of all yeah. that. Yeah, let's do it and make that a pipe. Yeah. Friends, this is exciting. Oh, I think, I might, I might hit, I might do this with a plasma cutter. Plasma? Yeah. You're that cool? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'm flying the Spaceship Enterprise, so... Well, you are. You no. should show them the Spaceship Enterprise. Stardate. 9-456. <laughs> Hi, Captain. She won't take much longer. The dilithium crystals are burning out fast. It took him 
50 something years to get it straight, but here he is all by himself in his lonesome shop, happy place, smiling, <laughs> doing his own thing, doing this, metal art. And we're putting them on these things because we can and we love it. And it makes them go faster. Yes, indeed it does. Why do you think these guys are putting all these big dirt bike pipes on these power saws? because they work, but I, I need to run my power saws. I can't have a big pipe hanging off from running in the bush, so I've always been on the quest for exhaust. Bear claw was the, was the kind of the key for that, me when I started. I still have the original bear claw muffler. Okay, we're just getting that flange squared away, friends. Like I say, getting, uh, getting this flange level. I've, I've actually got it. I'm surprised. I do a lot of this stuff by eye, friends, eh? Yeah, there we go. Morgan, I mean, I, I think I'm there, buddy. I just, right? You know what I mean? It's, I think I'm good. The little draw file thing? Yeah. I just didn't want to go too tight on it. Yeah. Not hitting where? Right, all right there. The middle. Yeah. It's only hitting on the flanges. Yeah. That would all up. Keep going, son. Okay, Dad. <laughs> I think we're pretty close, aren't we? <laughs> Very good. Both of these? What do you? One, one's a light. Am I gonna need any? Go. You make a little snippity snip snip sir. Oh dear heavens. Oh. Well there you go. Yeah, yeah, we're changing things up, friends, big time. scientist <laughs> so friends it takes time to to do stuff like this you you try something you put it on you run it and you go okay now we know what that does now we change something this is yours Morgan I don't want you to lose that so then you you come back to Morgan or wherever or your welding shop and you change it, you take it off, you change it. So so look at that, Morgan, you're hilarious. You're good at this stuff, dude. Look at that, it's a heart now. It's a heart, It's there's all kinds of love in that. It's the heart muffler. It's the heart muffler, and what happens, and that's the 66, right? It's not really, it's the heart pipe. Heart pipe. There's not, no muffling going on here. There's no mufflage, mufflage, just heart and pipe. So friends, what we done, because this was the first pipe that Morgan built, okay? It's all on the on the uh, footage, on the channel. And it comes out, flip it around, Morgan, let's show them what happens here. He's already got, instead of a channel, which we usually do, which he did on his second muffler, um, it was kind of a, a box already, so he had a box already. And then, 
there was another box on top and I says, well, Mark, we got to cut it in half and turn it into like a, an expansion. So basically what we've got now is an expansion piece here that comes around, narrows down and shoots out. And I'm going to try it and we're going to see how it goes. Okay, friends. We're back here now. And I've got another saw to try that one on. And we're changing a flange. This is this is Tin Man saw. Friends, we're uh, we're trying some sixty sixes here with Morgan's <coughs> muffler and my muffler. Is that gonna be okay? Friends, this is a big round. It's a stump actually that blew down years ago. It's fur, and fur hangs on for a long time. There, there is actually a little bit of rot on the outside of this, and I'm running on my saw. I'm running a it's basically a, a well it's the baby c is what it is it's, it's a remainder of a baby c it's on a 28 inch bar which is not going to allow me to gobble up this whole thing i'm going to have to like you know what i mean bucket in a fashion where you're kind of bore cutting as you go in so but this is the tin man saw and it it's pulling but i believe it, it it's better with a longer bar I like that saw with a longer bar. thing
funky on the outside, eh? No, that's not bad. It'll burn. That's tough. That's uh. You can hear it. It's uh. What do you call it? The flare. Yeah. Yeah, it gets a little gnarly there. You want to bring her up on the flat, Morgan? Yeah. Let's just flip it over one more time. Oh heavens to dear Homemade Betsy. Homemade axe. Dang. <laughs> well, let's see what it can do. Oh, oh. Trouble. Dang. Man, that's tough. That, I can hear it. It's just thud. <laughs> it just bounces right off it. Where's my tripod? There's no... Uh, Here, let's put this on the tripod, friends. No, uh, no crack. No cracks. No, it's got too much moisture from being out in a bush. It's not going to give you too many signs. You're going to have to pull out the old... The old woodman's woodsman trick. I'll wait till the, the metal worker exasperates himself and then I'll the woodman will pull in. <laughs> and make short order of that. You're eyeing it up already, aren't you? Well, I already know what to do. I'm just not gonna tell you. Okay, well, that's fair. I'm gonna let you suffer for a bit. Yeah, yeah uh... Cause you're a thinker, I I mean I know that, so this will be best some of the best content out there. Nice wide grain there, yeah. It listen to that though. Oh, it just it's just like a piece of rubber. <laughs> it is. You want me to have a go? You can have a go. All right. I'll trade you. The guy can't be flapping around like this. That is a nice axe, Morgan. I like it. Yeah. So in something like this, it just to, to be honest with you, to, to, to try and go straight through the middle, almost futile. Yeah, that's a sap pocket, yeah. I mean, you can you hear by the sound, like you said, Morgan, yeah. sound like a piece of rubber. So what I do in scenarios like this is I'll just come out here. And and those are some of the best burners right there. Little chunks like that. Yeah, sounds good. You see that little pump, like you said, Morgan. But really, not bad. And that bark will burn lovely. Yeah, that's going to be a nice burning wood right there. I got to pick myself up a, a little bit of wood too. Yeah. What's he got going there? Oh. Yeah, that's that's actually gorgeous. That bark will burn hot. Look at this. All wavy and crazy, friends. Look at this guy. That's gonna burn hot. Yeah, you, you won't get these like this, friends. You just, you won't get them. As soon as it sounds like that, it's, I'm done. I won't even go there. I won't do it. Now we're getting into the wood, Mark. That's like a chunk of gold right there. Hey, young fella, how you doing? Oh, just a dream. boy. Got back from Galliano Island. Galliano? Yeah. Where were you? You visiting all the hippies over there? Yeah, I took them a mobile home. Good man. Good man. Um, that's around. Now, that's a chunk of freaking firewood. That We're getting into the hardwood now. <laughs> Where so, did that come from? Over here, oh, a stump. Oh, a stump. That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. That's a little wet on the outside. Yeah. This hardwood, though, Morg, this is where it's at. That'll be dry. Yeah, this stuff here you're going to love. Just love. See that? 
Look at how, how stringy that is. Oh, she's gold. Yeah, check that out, Morgan. It's the perfect size. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, it's good stuff. She's gold. I'm telling you, that's gonna roast in there hot. Straight into the fireplace. Burn in there hot. Let's try it. This one's oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, little punk in her. Not bad. Woo. That's the stuff. Right there, Morgan. Each piece creates another piece <laughs> for a guy That's to have a go at. All right. Ah! Look at that sucker. <laughs> hey. It's cold. It is, isn't it? I'm not cold right now, though. I bet. I bet I'll you. tell you right now, that is beautiful fire with that. That's the beautiful thing about the fur. Oh, gold nugget right there. <laughs> that camera's going behind you. There, so you should, or so I should watch my mouth? No, no swearing, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I haven't sworn yet. I know you got me. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Good man. Funny, you know I. My shoulder, look at that. That's what sat with. Yeah, my shoulder was giving me gears the other day. And I thought I better take it easy. I better leave that for you, <laughs> that one, Morgan. Yeah, I'll show you. Went on over on a barge. Yeah. Took both halves over. Yeah. And we had to back into the spot. It was really You're kidding. But we had to use an excavator to help us. Did you to get you up there? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was, and then we're like driving down the uh, the other day we picked it up from it was that the RB because it's on the trailer sideways. Yeah. What? Because the whole thing's covered in snow. Oh, I side. see what you mean. I, we're like, but you got her. And then and then yeah we. Look at that stuff. Shovel all the snow off her. Look at that's that was all. So you're up there. The Holy smokers! <laughs> yeah. That's that's a lot of weight. Yeah. You think about that. No, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the side the wall was on, and then yeah. all the snow, right? So, yeah, it was a it was a steep climb, and then you get over there, and it's like a crazy steep climb out of from where the barge was. Yes. And uh, Man, that's 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 some, doesn't want to give up, does it? Some strong stuff right there. That's that, and that's that butt wood, that buttress wood boy, it gets you. Friends, good afternoon. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for this platform and these people. Um, there is so much on the go right now, friends. I, I could not have imagined this going on in my life even five years ago, six years ago, you know, when I started. I mean, I've only been doing YouTube for about eight years, seven, eight years. Eight years will be come up. Anyways, regardless, you know, I've been piping off about going to this uh, concert. Uh, a gentleman is flying me and my beautiful wife down to Oklahoma, and we're going to go to his rock, uh, his country rock concert. And, uh, that, that just, you know, the people that, that, that follow me and, and come with me here daily, uh, as you know, I, I put videos out every day as I, I do my best to do that. Sometimes the, the, I don't have a schedule. I just don't, I just believe me. It's just, I wake up early. I try and get something rolling by around from 10 to two. That's where I try friends. But there's that thing called life, right? That we all have happening. But listen, I want to touch off on this video now, but I want to talk about something before I go. So we're, we're jumping on a freaking plane tomorrow and we're going to the Clay Walker concert in, in uh, Oklahoma, Friday night, the ninth, I think now it is. Yeah. Hey, 
as far as I know. What a nice guy he is. I talked to him. Real nice fella. Anyway, Tin Man. This fellow that we're working with, Ian Shaw, you've seen him on the channel before, friends. He's a, he's one of the few left that are still climbing at his age. He's about 65 almost now. He'll be 65 come sh soon, real soon. And Hogan works for him when he's not uh, in camp. And both of them get together and do tree work. And if I've, I'm open, I go. Well, I spent a couple days with the boys and it was real fun, real fun. Testing mufflers and playing around and just being there for an extra hand. I, I love it, right? Especially with Hogan, love working with my son. So, but Ian, uh, we haven't had a chance. Hogan's been in camp. Tin Man, this is a message to you. We haven't had a chance to run that 461. If you friends remember, I went to visit the Tin Man and I gifted him a 372, right? One that I had here for years, a spare. And I gifted it to him because he's never had one. So in lieu, he, which I didn't expect, he gave me a 461 that he built years ago, I guess. And we give it to Hogan. So those of you will remember that. Well, Hogan, we barred it up yesterday and put a put a ground chain on it at this job we're on. And Hogan dug it into the wood and he's right away, he looked up at me and he's like, oh yeah, this is nice. So uh, we put it into Ian's hands and Ian knocked a couple of those stubs down. I'm just gonna show you a little blurb of the job we were on. I'll have footage on this job as well, friends. It was a fun job, actually. There was quite a bit of tree work there. A big line of fir trees on the road, right on the road. It was actually fun. So that's this last little blurb and I'll just, we'll see you guys out. Um, I'll do my best to build video on the road. I should be able to, but I, I think we might be on a tour bus. <laughs> I don't know, friends. I'm not kidding. I don't know. It's kind of a, he, he reached out to me about a week ago and said, hey, do you want to come down to this concert? You and your wife, I watch your stuff. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to go. Friends, again, thank you. Thank you for being here. Work hard. Be honest. Have some patience and some tolerance. Things happen when they're supposed to happen. They're they, they, they don't, if you're looking for the quick fix in life that you think you can, you might find it. You might find it. But it hasn't been in my, my experience. My experience is people say, Buck, and you're lucky. And I, I go, lucky? I'm lucky. Oh, is that what it is? It's luck. Oh, well, one of my most favorite sayings of this year, I'm going to do a favorite saying of the year thing. We're going to do it. One of my most favorite sayings of this year is it seems the harder I work, the luckier I get. And I just love that saying. And I may use that one again. So work hard, be honest, and friends, be kind to one another. And I'll catch you on the next video. So we'll just let this fly out with this, this still saw going. Catch you on the next one. Tin Man 461, we haven't had it out. We haven't had a chance.
this out of my hands, Hogan. <laughs> Tin Man! <laughs> Tin Man, have you got, have you got one? I'm going to send you this song. You can do the same thing. Awesome. Sweet job. If you don't mind building for loggers, uh, you know, hey, Tin I'm Man, I saw your last video. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Build this man a fallen saw, uh, Tin Man, please. We'll send you one. I got one in the back. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Perfect. Right, I'll go pop it's actually back. sitting right there. You can put it in your truck. Back. Right there. Good. So Ian wants one of your 461s. He loves Hogan's. Have you got one there, Ian? Is that, is put that... it in the truck right now. What, what's that one right there? Is that the one? Yeah. So you're going to send that to the I'm Tin Man? I'm going to send that to you. Tin Man, with your blessing, he'll put that in a box and send it to you. But he, he's a logger, you know, faller. Not a cook, cookie cutter. <laughs> so he knows what a ported saw not, is. Not a weekend warrior. That's right. There's a we got a mouth mouth of the south here. Ian Shaw. <laughs> He's a legend. What Ian, how old are you? Now. I'll be 65 next week. 65 next week. Next week. December the 16th. So and what I'm like what do you think you're doing here? Like this is a young man's game. I don't understand. I feel young. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked after myself. Yeah, you have. Yes. You've been very fortunate. Yes. This is uh. Hey, hard work never hurt anyone. No, it didn't. One of the few guys left that's at this age. He's going. He's coming up 65. He's still going. Bear claw, 71 or two. He's just starting now to think about hanging up the saws. Ian's been lucky. He never got beat up like I did. He never got smashed up. He was very fortunate. He's he does work very. He was broken properly. He did a lot of fall and a lot of tree work. And he, he, he was able to get hooked up with people when he was in his youth. And he's just very fortunate that he never did get smashed up, which is very uncommon in this industry. So I'm, I'm so fortunate that he's been able to uh, have a spot for Hogan, you know, to, to learn stuff. And I'll tell you, it's, if you're out there and you're wanting to get into the tree work or any industry, that, that old school break-in seems to be gone now, but I think we can revive it if we start, you know, reaching out to these older guys that have been, not older, but just older in the industry, veterans that have been around. I'm creeping up on that status myself, but I'm only 53, I'll be 54 in April. But a lot of guys don't share nothing. You know, Ian, he just works, he shares with the guys he, he works with, but he's not a social media guy. It's just, these trades will, <laughs> The secrets of the trade, friends, will get lost. I'm not talking just tree work and falling. I'm talking about every game out there. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna keep going, but I just wanted to say hi to Ian and, and get you guys a, a shot of Ian there. He's a good friend. And I've been very grateful that Hogan's been able to work with him. 
the mouth of the south. That's a joke from Bobby Clark. Bobby Clark, I know you're watching. We love you, buddy.